Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard, back from the dead, bringing you another episode of Monday Minutes. Gosh, it's been a long time. Hey, look, I got a little bit of that rasp back in my voice. Isn't that kind of cool? Not, not, not like, you know, not as cool as Keaton rasp, but still, I'm here and I'm having a good day. I have uh, six more radiation treatments, one more chemo treatment before I get into the uglier part of my phase called recovery. The first two weeks are not supposed to be pretty, but I'm going to take advantage of this time. And yes, I was able to shave all this stuff off my face. I had permission from my docs to do so, and I did so, and I feel human again. It's good feeling human. Let's get into what I want to talk about. And first, hats off to Pierre Bucus. Bacchus Bucus. I'll never get it right. But Pierre is one of the developers for the x Light team. And he has put in something quite extraordinary uh, for people like uh, myself and other sequencers and, I would hope, coral vendors, uh, all of the coral vendors. And this is just one of these things that you just don't think about. And then when it happens, you're like, man, what a good idea that was. So... I want to show you this brand new feature in x Lights, this enhancement that Pierre created that's available in 2025.4, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's dot four, yes. And uh, I'll try to illustrate why it's important. I'm going to pick, be picking on some uh, models uh, from Gilbert Engineering, uh, maybe Vascoyo, EFL. Uh, this is not calling out anybody from any of the companies and it's not calling out anybody that might have worked on the models but for people that do their own modeling or for people that uh, might catch something uh, here's an easy way to fix it or get back to your vendors and say hey I saw this issue I fixed it why don't I give it to you and then they get it to the x lights heaven readily available for downloads unless they only come from vendors okay here we go let's get into this I have a model selected that I've sabotaged because I've already fixed my models in this layout, in my Halloween layout. I had only four uh, models that had sub-model issues where there was an extra note or missing, uh, extra node or missing nodes, okay? So I've sabotaged one of them and I want to show you how this works, but I also want to be careful. There's some gotchas here. You got to be careful. You can't just go fix one little thing and then say, okay, that's fixed. Because there's two different schools on working with submodels. Submodels that are just submodels under the model and submodel groups where you have the splits all put into one little big group. All right. Why am I making hand gestures like this? I don't know. It's the drugs. I possibly. Anyway, let's get into this. Here we go. So if you look at a prop like uh, some, uh, prop like the shape shifter, this is Wonder, which is a sub-model that you could sequence at that sub-model level. Uh, I think you get less features when you do it this way, but that's how some people do it. And then these are the splits. This is what I put in the groups, all eight of these splits. And you look at the splits and you can see that there are going to be touching nodes. Well, uh, Marion Cherry made it possible that we could select all of these right click and tell it to suppress duplicates all left right and that's when you see all these little funky uh comma 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 that's basically getting rid of nodes that might touch each other so when you're when you're putting effects on there you're not going to see them fight over where to go you can also see here that each node count is represented not only for the model, but all the submodels. Well, that makes sense because that's what makes up the main submodel, all these splits. Barbie, same thing. What we're looking for is looking down this node count list. Are they all equal? Yes. And we can take it for granted the rest of these are. We go to Champagne. Are those all equal counts? If you see equal counts, chances are it's probably right. Now, there are some uh, submodels where it might be 12, 14, 12, 14. If you see that alternating, but it's consistent, it's probably designed that way on purpose. So don't get freaked out. Outer Rim, same thing, all 28. 
Uh, let's see. Crank it up. That's going to be the same. And then here's my little sabotage one. <clears throat> Look at this. Well, let's go down. 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26. All good. Oh, no. Whoever created this totally screwed the pooch. Look at that. We got only 25 nodes here and 27. Well, that can't be true. Let me look at the individuals. Which ones are they? Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, okay. So right off the bat, that first one, Lantern 1, has 27 nodes. It should only have 25 or 26. Yeah, it should only have 26, but it has 27. Why? Because... There's the boo-boo right there. Somebody made a mistake. So what we do is we shift and we get rid of it. Now we have 26 again. Let's check out the second one. What's wrong with this one? It looks good to me. I don't see a problem there. Although it's 25, it's missing one. Where's it missing one? Oh, oh, common. Look at this. Look, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. That starts on this ring right here. We go back to Lantern 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it's missing one. So we need to have this. 63 should be in here. But where in here? Well, you better take a look at a good one to see where it starts. And that is 61. That is 61. It starts in the center going out. So we go back to a problem child. This number right here, 63, needs to be in the front. So you need to come over to your thing up here, to the front of the line. Type in 63, comma. It's fixed. Okay? But it's not completely fixed. Because if somebody sequences at the lantern submodel level, we still have these problems. We have to address this. We got one too many. Okay, well, this is an easy one. Just shift, get rid of it, fine. But the next one, we remember 63 is missing from here. You can go over here, just go to the beginning, type it in again. Oop, not, yep, there we go, comma. Now it's fixed. Now they're both fixed. If you find you have a lot of mess ups, it might make more sense to fix it here copy this then go up to lantern we know that this one starts with 65 you go to lantern find 65 go in here command v for paste and paste it in there you're done click ok click save and what if you have more than one what if you got one two three four of these well here is my suggestion take note this is ge shapeshifter one Go over to your GE Shapeshifter 2, go to your submodels, and click on the import from model, this guy right here, point it to the GE Shapeshifter 1. These are alphabetical. So GE Shapeshifter 1, click OK, and just make, all, they should all be selected. Just click OK, it's going to say, you want to write, sometimes it'll tell you, it'll ask you if you want to overwrite everything if it sees a difference. And you would say yes. You click OK. You've now fixed the second model with issues without having to repeat the steps of the first submodel fixes. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Let's go over to some other models here. Um, earlier last month, I was playing around with working with some of these submodels, the differences. Uh, I'm happy to report there are no submodel issues in the Boscoyo props here. That being the uh, Ice Princess, the Boscoyo Wreath, and the Snow Queen. Queen, Ice Queen. There we go. But while I was working with these, and even when I was sequencing with these, I didn't notice any of the issues. Okay. So, uh, snowflake one, is that snowflake one? That's spinner. Uh, let's, da, 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 da. yeah, let's take a look at it. There was one of these that didn't have any issues, and it was a model that was probably made after Marion Cherry introduced the 
Symmetrize. Uh, any of the Symmetrize rotation didn't have any of the issues. That's how good x -Lights made that. But if we go to our Cascading Arches, uh, I've got to scoot this way over so we can see the node counts. There we go. All 40, 44. Oh, oh, now, nah, yeah. I knew there was one in here. So we have 40, 40, 41. What's missing? Well, this is 41. Let's see if we can spot it just by staring at this. Do, 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 do. So we're going to have to isolate. So we'll go to 41. There's an extra one. Oh, there you go. Look at that. 41. Want to see it fixed? Real simple. Shift, drag it, fixed. Oh, what did I just do? There is no, oh. No, now, oh, yep, yeah, that was it. That was it. Okay, thought I messed it up. Okay. So it, it's as simple as looking at this. So the EFL props uh, are going to be pretty easy to get through the submodels because they're not in groups. You don't have to worry about trying to correct it twice. But there are quite a few in these models, every one of them. Uh, 40, 36, all the way down, 36. There's a 35 sitting over here. Something's different about 35. Uh, what could it be? Uh, oh, looks like this guy maybe right out here. Maybe not. Let's look at one that is correct. 34. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Du, 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 du. Would it be nice if x Lights used AI to tell us where the mistake is? And I know some of you are like, there, Ron, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's, it's the, I bet it's the center. I bet you it's the center dot, isn't it? Am I right? Am I right? No, I'm not right. I am not right. Now I just, now I just want to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's look at the thirty-four. Jump there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it is not that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go there. One. Get back over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then it's going to be this guy over here? No. Let's go back to this. Why is there one extra? There, oh. Th <laughs> see it? You see it? I know. You've been screaming at me, haven't you? At, you've been screaming at Ron. In your display, trying to tell me it's right there. Yeah, so this guy here, bye-bye. Shift. Get rid of you. And it's gone. And now it's fixed. Uh, big pedals, those are all good. I want to get to the ones that show you different uh, combinations. Like this one, 72, 36, 36, uh, what is it? Oh, rings. We don't care about rings. Uh, well, here's another one. This is trophies. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and go through all of these. The word will get to the appropriate people to take a look at the models and use this tool. So simple but so effective and so necessary. I can't thank Pierre enough. I don't know why this wasn't thought of years ago. Just, you know, uh, he's one of the few developers that sequences a lot. So he saw that this would be important. I think it's uber, uber important <laughs> that we have somebody who can sequence very well that's on the development team to offer a sequencer's insight and perspective. We will all benefit from this. I talk to Pierre a lot about this kind of stuff. So um, I, I did fix the fountain all the way, and I posted that in my group uh, if anybody needed it. Um, I, I would send it to some people. I'm, I'm blocked by some people, and maybe that'll change. So I can't get it to some of the people I'd like to get it to. Uh, so they can reach out to me if they would like to get that or discuss it or whatever. 
that is convenient for them. We're all in this together, aren't we? Helping each other is an awfully nice thing to do. And uh, I think it's a good way to pay it forward and show people that this is a universal tool that will help everybody in the hobby, whether you're an enthusiast or a vendor. Because isn't it nice to get it right? Never perfect, but getting it right is so helpful, I think. All right, if you made it this far, uh, I'm going to ask that you please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you found this informative and helpful. Uh, the algorithms, oh, the algorithms are awfully helpful to uh, getting this content out to other people who would find it useful. So subscribing and liking does that. Drop a line what you think in the comments about this type of content. I don't know what I'll make my next Monday Minutes. It really <clears throat> depends. I have some good days and then I have some awful, awful days. So uh, as I get into my recovery process next week, I'm hoping that uh, the dreaded two-week curse uh, that's supposed to be really bad uh, will uh, not be so much bad and i can start catching up on sequencing and more tutorials like this you guys have a wonderful week we'll catch you next time it's ron it's been monday minutes